more time with that family than you do the folk you married and gave birth to. All you got to do is think about it. Just give it a little bit of thought. You spend more time with the people on the job than you do the folk you married and gave birth to. I'll picture this. You wake up early in the morning, yawn, stretch. Ugh. You kiss the big one. Hey, baby, how you doing? You kiss the little one. How y'all doing? And then you carry your semi-comatose self to the car. You get behind that wheel and you get ready to drive into work and oh my God, that's when you'll become awake, alert, and oriented. Just getting in traffic. Oh, and y'all know Dallas, you got to take a quaalude before you even get on the road. <laughs> you driving down the street, somebody came over in your lane. Somebody jumped over on you. Somebody's coming up behind you. They on your bumper so tight you can't even see they got headlights. Look like you got a second passenger sitting in your back seat and you did not invite anybody to come along. All the time you come into work, you fussing and talking, having a full-blown conversation with the rear view mirror all your way to work. <laughs> when you pull up in that parking lot at the job, let me tell you, you are pumped. <laughs> you take your feet off the carpet in the car and put it on the concrete in the parking lot and walk up into that building. Let me tell you, every woman in this room got a triple D cup and is saluting the sun. As you walk through the parking lot, yeah, I'm going to go on off here and take care of business one more time because I know if I don't show up for work today, they may as well not, not even open up this place today. Because I rock. <laughs> now that was the ladies. I see a beautiful sprinkling of testosterone in this room. <laughs> and gentlemen, I shall not leave you out. <laughs> ladies, when you walk down the hall with your facility, and you see a perfect strip of paint missing, on both sides of the wall when you go down the hall. That's because the men, oh, oh, the men who work beside us on a daily basis, oh my goodness, they have two by fours on their shoulders because that's where they carry the weight of the world is on their shoulders. And when they walk through the halls of the building, their shoulders are so broad, they're scraping the paint off of both sides of the walls as they go down the hall. Oh, my God. They're so magnificent. They're so glorious. Ooh. Well, that's how you come to work. <laughs> this is you going home in the evening. It's been a good day. <laughs> I enjoyed you. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> and that's what you take back home to who? <laughs> the people you gave birth to. And man, they get a teaspoon of you in the morning. And they get a teaspoon of you at night. Which family got the gusto out of you? Your professional family. They got you at your breathing, seething best. They got you when your cognitive thinking was on point. Oh my gosh, there's a difference in the family. You're sometimes at the job, that's where your best friend is. Sometimes at the job, that's where your counselor is. Heck, sometimes that's where your psychiatrist is at. <laughs> you know, when you depend heavily upon your other family member, you, you take each other like you come. It's an unconditional love. You're like siblings. And that's a beautiful thing, because you need to be able to share it, to vent it, to spill it over somewhere, because of what we do on a daily basis. Sometimes that's where you met your best friend. In fact, sometimes this family knows stuff that that family don't even know. <laughs> Y'all be careful, because one day the two families share me. <laughs> <laughs>